light burn slot resize tool doesn't work sometimes. So here's a manual alternative to adjust material thickness in light burn. Let's say you purchased a file from Etsy and it was three millimeters, but the material that you're working with is five millimeters. Well, there's a very easy way to adjust that and make sure that that three millimeter file that you bought would work for your five millimeter material. Uh, with that being said, let's get started. Uh, I have two examples here that I'm going to work with and show you guys how I get it done. Uh, first thing I want you to do is go up here to edit, go to settings, and come here and make sure that snap to objects is enabled and snap to grid is also enabled. After that, click OK. Then you want to make sure that you open your file. Uh, I've got my file open here. Uh, first thing you want to do is take your ruler tool here. So click your ruler tool and this box pops up. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the ruler tool, but what it does is it whatever shapes you actually touch with the cursor after you select the ruler tool, it tells you the measurement of that shape. If you click the shape, or just hover over it in general. Uh, it will tell you, if you're watching that dialog box that popped up, it's telling me different segment lengths, which is what you're looking at. You're looking at that segment length. And it'll tell you what the uh, dimensions are for that. So what you wanna do here, let me zoom in a little bit. You're looking at a finger joint here. If I point it here, it's telling me that this finger joint here, the height is 1.14 millimeters. That means going around this entire rectangle, wherever there are finger joints, they should be 1.14 millimeters. All right, so for this one, I wanna adjust those finger joints. I want them to be three millimeters if that's the material that I'm gonna work with. So the first thing to do is to close out your ruler tool. You're gonna to need that at the very end just to make sure that you did it right. Next thing you're gonna do is click the rectangle tool here. And I want you to draw a rectangle. Click and drag it out. Uh, draw one that's longer than the edges that you're gonna be working with. So right here, about this much, that's fine. Could be a little bit shorter, but as long as it's longer than the edges, that's fine. Now make sure that you're working in millimeters up here. Or if you wanna work in inches, that's fine. Depends on how you wanna work. but for this, uh, since we're working with millimeters, that's, I'm just gonna click this to change it to millimeters. So, I want the width of this rectangle here to be three millimeters because that's the size I'm trying to get the finger joints to. This padlock is unlocked, so when I click out, it's fine. It adjusted the size, uh, the width, it didn't adjust the height, which is what we want. Now, if it was, uh, if it was horizontal, then you would adjust the height to three millimeters. But since it's vertical, we're adjusting the width to three millimeters. So now that this has been created, next thing you're gonna do is select that rectangle. Gonna zoom in. And you're gonna drag that rectangle left till it touches the bottom edge, the inside of that finger joint. Now, if you zoom in closer, you see that it's not exactly touching it. So what we wanna do is, let me go to, scroll up close so you can see it. Hold down control and click that rectangle. Now slowly drag it and drop it on that line exactly. Now scroll back out and look to see if you're clear on both sides. You are good. Now, the first step is done. Deselect that rectangle. I want you to come up here to the node tool and click the node. Now I want you to click the large shape. And after you click that, you see all the nodes that are available, they pop up. Uh, what you wanna do is scroll in a little bit so you get a better view. And if you're wondering how I'm scrolling in and scrolling out, I'm using the mouse roller. 
All right, so you can see the nodes on the outside right here. These are the nodes that we want to select. So we're just going to select everything so we can adjust everything at the same time. So click your selector tool. Oh, wait, go back to the nodes. Okay, so uh, from here, you're fine to just click in here and just select all of those nodes. Uh, let me scroll out a little bit and do that better. So scroll out so you can see the shape, the, the entire shape, and then click from the outside and just carefully select those nodes. As you can see, all of them are now red, the ones that are selected. Always double check that to make sure. And if it's just an edge like this, make sure you don't click that because if you do, then you're pulling the entire rectangle. Now that that's done, uh, doesn't matter which node, just zoom in close to any node that you want to. And from there, you hold down your shift key and then you just drag it straight to the line and it should snap to that line. Do not stray, do not shift up or down, just drag it straight to that line. Okay, now that it's touching that line, we need to verify that we actually resized that finger joint. So just deselect that and come here and select your ruler tool. Now, if I point this at this, it should tell me three millimeters. And look at that segment length. We are right on the spot. It is exactly three millimeters. And just like that, you have easily just adjusted that entire side to fit your material thickness. All right, zoom out. You're gonna do the same thing for the other side as well. So just take your uh, rectangle, move it out. As you can see, this is further out than this side. Let's just double check again to make sure. Click your ruler tool, point it at the finger joint, three millimeters, all around three millimeters. All right, that side is good. Now we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. All right, once again, zoom in to make sure. Hold down control, click the shape, the rectangle, and drag it out, drop it on that line. All right, good. Then we're gonna do the same thing. Come back here, click that node tool, and then click the shape, the rectangle, uh, the actual shape itself that you're trying to adjust. All right, as you can see, same thing here. We're going to come out from here, from the outside in, and just select just the nodes that we are trying to adjust. Uh, zoom out just to make sure, look around, make sure that you're not missing a node when you do that selection. So I could see the whole thing in view right now, and then I select from the outside. And all right everything is selected once again remember you're not selecting these you're just going to drag out the entire thing all right from there zoom in to any node hold down shift click the node and just drag it straight forward do not stray there you go it snapped to it and when i when i say do not stray i mean don't drag it up don't drag it down just drag it straight out and now let's check the material thickness of this finger joint as well to make sure click the ruler tool and point it at it all right that is 2.98 we're slightly under it's fine if you want to leave it that way uh 2.98 is not that big of a deal but if you want more precision it just means that i did not if i'm zooming in right here it just means that i didn't drop that rectangle directly on that line so zoom all the way in as close as possible and make sure that you select that rectangle all right we're going to move that further just a little bit so zoom in as good as you can get it right there is fine we're looking at this the goal is to get this to touch that line sit directly on that line so hold down control and drag it out right there that looks like it is sitting on that line 
all right might be a little further out uh which is fine it's very very that's a very tiny difference you wouldn't even notice it but i think this should be all right all right let's zoom out take a look all right we're going to do the same thing again select the node tool click the larger shape nodes are visible from the outside in let's make sure we're looking at everything click and select those top nodes and then zoom in as close as possible there you go we've got just a small adjustment to go hold down shift and snap it to it right there all of them should be good all right if we're slightly over that's fine but as long as it's on that three very close to the three there we go right there three millimeters you have just successfully adjusted all the finger joints on this shape to three millimeters from the different size that it was all right so this left shape is done here all the finger joints have been adjusted to three millimeters i'm going to show you how to do the top and bottom as well uh this one is it's easy it's the same process uh like i said this time you just adjusted the height instead of the width so once again draw a rectangle that is slightly bigger than the shape uh, what you want to do is come up here padlock unlocked okay uh, change that to three millimeters make sure you're working with millimeters here when you do these adjustments all right uh, select it scroll in here select your rectangle uh, you can scroll in a little bit more so you can see it real well hold down control and drag it up there you go that looks like it's placed on that line actually it's a bit further than the line just bring it back just a little bit hold down control and slide it there you go right there all right and always check these edges to make sure that all the finger joints are covered okay so from here we're gonna click the node tool from the top down well select the shape first and then drag from the top down and select those top nodes right there you can see all of them are now, they're now red so that means they've been selected and from there you're gonna scroll in to any node scroll in enough that you can see the node and you can see the line that you're going to so hold down the shift key click the node and just drag it straight up do not stray left and right just drag it straight up it should snap to that line all right click your rule tool here let's see ah right there three millimeters and you would do the same thing to adjust that bottom as well uh, that concludes this tutorial thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe Thank you.